Hello YouTube. <laughs> this is Cole with Meet the Bible. Also known as the most interesting man on my cul-de-sac. Um, well, I'm here in sunny North Carolina. Pretty rare for us to get snow. So, what the heck? I thought I'd come out. I can't believe the schools are closed. The traffic is unbelievable. I'm from Michigan. This, this is nothing hard to drive in. <clears throat> I want to throw some verses out that the Bible talks about snow. Did you know that? Bible talks about snow. Job 37 6. I'm just going to read a bunch of these. For the snow, he says, fall on the earth and to the downpour and the rain be strong. Proverbs 26 1. Like snow in summer and like rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Proverbs 31 21. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Job 6.16, 6, which are torbid because of ice and into which snow melts. Job 24.19, drought and heat consume the snow waters. So does Shoal who have sinned. Psalm 148 and 8, fire and hail, <clears throat> snow and clouds, stormy winds, fulfill his word. Psalms 147.16, he gives snow like wool, he scatters the frost like ashes. Salt trucks out, I guess they're expecting, I don't know what the weather forecast is, but... Revelation 1 and 14. His head, his hair were white like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. We're talking about God. Interesting. Matthew 28 and 3. And his appearance was like lightning, <clears throat> his clothes as white snow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Isaiah 1 18. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though through your sins are as scarlet, they will be as white as snow. <clears throat> through they are red like crimson. They will be like wool. <clears throat> you could make a song of that. I mean, that would be a good song. Psalm 68, 14. When the Almighty scattered the kings there, it was snowing in Zalman. Isaiah 55, 10, as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there without watering the earth and make it bare and sprout and furnishing seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Snow's covering, <clears throat> covering up my word here. You know, the, uh, <laughs> a lot of these... Uh, False, you know, I beat up the rapture thing. False rapture believers believe that literally we're taken in a cloud. 1 Thessalonians 4, uh, 17, I believe. Uh, we're taken in the clouds, literally. Okay, well, if you're, uh, today that'll work, I guess, if Jesus were to return. But uh, most of the time in Southwest Asia, there are no clouds. Most of the summer, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, a lot of places in America. So that if there's no clouds, then what does that mean? Jesus can't return? You know, that's kind of weird. Uh, I mean, literally, people think you have to literally go to clouds. We're gathered in clouds. It's a cloud of witnesses. Uh, Paul talks about, you know, they bring 12, uh, 10 to 15 billion saints who come with them. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, and picks up a couple billion on earth. We join them. We go to Mount Zion. And we go to Jerusalem, okay, uh, to meet Jesus and live happily forever after. Anyways, people, <coughs> I thought I'd take advantage of the snow. Uh, well, like if you like, don't don't if you don't. Subscribe. I, I, I every single subscription I appreciate. I really do. Um, Team Jesus, stay thirsty, my friend. <laughs>